Uh, we've come to the end of our time. Uh, I want to uh, thank all of the uh, listeners and uh, and participants uh, of uh, today's uh, gathering. Uh, this has been a very uh, special event at a very special time. I want to thank all of you for your commitment to the culture of peace, which is the, the theme of the International Day of uh, Conscience. Special thanks to the Kingdom of Bahrain, which has been the champion of the International Day of Conscience and uh, our convener for today. Uh, thank you for the leadership of the Kingdom uh, on uh, the culture of peace. Uh, thank you to this remarkable uh, group of uh, participants. Uh, we're just uh, honored and thrilled that you have all been with us. I want to say to people all over the world, please uh, stay safe uh, and secure. Keep your loved ones and family members safe. Uh, work uh, uh, as you can remotely uh, um, in security to promote the end of uh, the pandemic uh, and uh, the rapid uh, return to uh, the, the lives we want to live uh, out of uh, this fear uh, and uh, isolation. Uh, let's come together from uh, this uh, great challenge and build on it uh, through uh, using this International Day of Conscience to foster an even greater commitment to social justice, to human rights, and to sustainable development. Uh, it's been a great uh, honor and joy to be with the people from all over the world on this uh, first ever celebration of the International Day of Conscience. We're going to uh, close with a special video uh, from the Kingdom of Bahrain. The visionary role played by His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa, the Prime Minister of Bahrain, in promoting peace and strengthening relationships among the people of the world should not be underestimated. It has been the leadership of His Royal Highness that assured that the efforts of Bahrain's government were directed to realizing the highest development goals for its people and focusing their attention in promoting the principles for establishing a movement celebrating a world culture of peace and understanding, an effort irrespective of race, color or creed, where all people would come together across the globe and work to preserve the right of all to a healthier environment and a secure and peaceful lifestyle. His Highness Prince Khalifa had directed Bahrain's representatives to engage with partners and seek out people of a similar mind to initiate this movement based on world conscience. In the initiating message to the United Nations General Assembly, His Royal Highness had stated that there is an urgent need for an occasion on which all people can unite to intensify efforts that preserve the right of all to live in peace and harmony within secure and stable environments. Environments that sustain development and promote human well-being, yet preserve the ability of the planet to support both human and natural life. It was the direct result of these far-sighted efforts that initiated the adoption unanimously by the United Nations of Resolution 73-329 in July 2019. The President of the General Assembly, Ms. Maria Fernandes Pinoza, we welcomes the declaration of 5th April as the International Day of Conscience. The PJ welcomes this initiative of the Prime Minister of Bahrain, His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, supported by Member States. After the official announcement at the United Nations, His Royal Highness received many congratulatory messages from all the ambassadors to Bahrain and one from His Excellency Mr. Antonio Guterres, the Secretary-General 
of the United Nations, who welcomed the efforts of His Highness in promoting peace and prosperity through the Day of Conscience. His Highness also briefed all the ambassadors on his expectations for the inaugural celebrations and that would reflect and focus world attention and influence the strong will of the people of the world to make world conscience a cornerstone of collective action towards a safer, more peaceful and stable world. Most peoples of the world believe everyone has a conscience, a personal space within us, a place where God's values are written on our soul. I think that the Day of Conscience is a wonderful initiative and something that the world can finally enjoy and look forward to. I think it's wonderful that there are still leaders in the world who care about love and peace and that we should all shout about it on the day. On the Day of Conscience, do I have to like my sister? Bahrain has always felt like a safe haven to us. It's a wonderful island, it's beautiful, and the people over here are kind and generous. Humanity is thinking, and the actions should reflect the fact that we are one human family. On the Day of Conscience, we should all join together and demonstrate that. With consciousness comes ethics, motivation, and principles. So on the Day of Consciousness, I hope that we see many more people adopt these principles as well. A virus is infecting the entire world, and this virus knows no national boundaries. So why do countries insist on acting selfishly? The Day of Conscience is a chance to change that, for all the countries to unify their efforts and act as one. The Day of Conscience provides an occasion for all those seeking an opportunity to join His Royal Highness, Bahrain, and the people of the world in making world conscience the cornerstone of collective action, specifically in the advancement of building a world culture of peace with love and conscience.